It was Mother's Day, May 14th of 2017. I woke up and poured a cup of coffee and I took one sip and suddenly had this overwhelming textbook, heart attack symptoms, textbook. And I just went downhill. And I went downhill really quickly. And then I had this sort of overwhelming sense of doom, which gave way to an overwhelming sense of peace. And I remember having conversations in my head was, I think I'm dying, I think I might be dying. And then I was like, no, 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 I'm dying. And it was beautiful. I mean, I, I can't even explain it. I wasn't afraid. Um, but then, of course, all hell broke loose. Belinda is my best friend. We've been together for, for a long time. It was a whirlwind when we met. I think as soon as we met, we actually married about three months after that. She was who I was waiting for. And uh, I feel very fortunate and lucky to have her in my life. Belinda is just amazing to me. I mean, she, she gives 110% in life and that's in everything. I mean, she's a, she's a wonderful entrepreneur. She loves being a wife, she loves being a mom, and she loves life. I am the CEO and founder of a company called People People. It's hard to start a business. I expected it to be really, really difficult. I honestly had no comprehension of just how difficult it was going to be. I really didn't take care of myself during that time. I worked a lot of hours. I ate takeout at my desk. I took myself to the doctor and discovered I had really, really high blood pressure. Thankfully, that was all it was, and they put me on medication, but that was a wake-up call for me. It was, you know, how am I gonna be able to take care of everybody else I need to take care of if I'm not taking care of myself? And I spent a fair amount of time, probably four or five months, I started walking. And, and this was an opportunity, you know, to get fit, feel good about myself, learn new stuff. Um, and I did that, and it was great. By the time all was said and done, I had lost Good amount of weight. I mean, I was down overall about 60 pounds. I went on to lose another 10 um, and worked really, really hard. But I discovered this whole new lifestyle. I'm so happy for her that she did change her lifestyle and it opened me up too. So I joined her on the nutrition. I joined her on some of the exercising. She's doing triathlons. It's amazing. Then on Mother's Day, May 14th of 2017, I woke up and it was a normal morning. We were gonna get up, we were gonna go cycling again because it was a pretty day. And suddenly had this overwhelming, well, it's it was textbook heart attack symptoms. The crushing pain in the chest, the pain in my jaw, my teeth hurt. It was a horrible feeling. I was flushed. I wasn't sweating crazy, but I, I was, panic stricken, honestly. And so I stood there for a minute and I dropped and I thought, okay, I'll be all right. So I walked into the bedroom and I laid down and thought, I'll just hug this pillow. I had, I had been lucky enough to be invited to the Heart Association luncheon just a few weeks before this happened. And as I laid in bed, face down, holding my pillow, telling myself, oh, this will pass. All of a sudden, all the videos that played during that luncheon of the women who had survived heart attacks or died from heart attacks started playing in my head. And so I had a stiff chat with myself about what I needed to do. My husband was actually um, home and he came into the bedroom and said, what's the matter? And I said, I think you need to call an ambulance. That was probably the scariest moment in my life. Um, to see her and the paramedics showing up and her going off in the ambulance. You know, I've got two girls, Lucy and Gemma. Gemma, my oldest, was about to get married. We were getting ready to go through the wedding prep. Beautiful son-in-law, Andy. They're married now. I got to go. Um, it's funny, you, as you go through life, you never sort of picture yourself as ever leaving a void in anybody's life until you're slammed in the face with the potential of not being there for anybody anymore. So many things go through your mind. You know, how's my husband Terry gonna do this? 
You know, how is, uh, how is, how is their life going to look if I'm not here? The work that the American Heart Association does is so incredibly important. I know so much more about heart disease and how it affects women. And, and the reason I want to tell this story is because we as women ignore it. And I know that for the women in this room, there's a good percentage of them that are doing that right now. They're maybe experiencing a little something, maybe they're not experiencing anything, but they're not going and getting a checkup. They're not going and getting a cardiac scan. It doesn't, it's not invasive, it doesn't take takes less than an hour, go do it. One in three women are going to die of some sort of cardiovascular event, either a stroke or a heart attack. That's more than are gonna die of breast cancer or any GYN cancer or skin cancer and all those other causes that are very important that we put research into. But this is something that also has a preventative element to it. Um, whereas the others have screening elements, these have preventative elements. And then if you really take control of your life, see your primary care doctor, know your numbers, do your lifestyle modifications, we can prevent this. What people don't realize is that 80% of all cardiovascular disease can be prevented. And I think that's where we're really turning a lot of the funds and the research is to understanding how we can prevent this bad stuff from happening. I view the American Heart Association as the primary educator in this space. And that is a reason to support them with your time and your financial assistance. You know, we can reach so many more people and keep them from either losing a loved one or losing their own life. You actually have the opportunity to save yourself. I'm pretty sure the people that count on you would think that was a big deal.